mechanical mediums. If we observe the movements of a table, a planchette, etc., we cannot doubt that a direct action is exercised by the communicating spirits on these objects. They are sometimes shaken so violently that they get away from the medium's hands. They sometimes turn towards or touch some particular person or persons in the circle. At other times, their movements testify joy, affection or anger. In the same way, when a pencil is held in the medium's hand, it is sometimes thrown forcibly to a distance or the hand itself is agitated convulsively and strikes the table angrily, while the medium himself is perfectly calm and surprised at finding that he is not master of his movements. Occurrences of this kind, however, always denote the presence of imperfect spirits. Spirits of high degree are calm, dignified and gentle. When not met with suitable respect, they retire, and their place is taken by other of lower rank. A spirit, therefore, can express his thoughts directly, through an object of the movements of which the hand of the medium is only the fulcrum, or indirectly, by his action on the hand itself. When a spirit acts directly on the medium's hand, he gives to it an impulsion altogether, independent of its owner's will, causing it to write on uninterruptedly as long as he has anything to say and to stop when he has finished. The most interesting and valuable characteristic of this mode of medianimity is the unconsciousness of the medium in regard to what he is writing, and of which he has often not the remotest idea. This absolute unconsciousness constitutes what are called passive or mechanical mediums, and is an exceedingly precious faculty because it excludes all doubt as to what is written being dependent of the medium's mind.